Hey everyone, Mike Schmidt here with Papa's Pilar Rum. We're in the Florida Keys just off Tennessee Reef. I'm with Captain Scott Walker and today we're going to show you why our 41 Valhalla is set up the way it is and what makes it so special. fishing team is based out of the Florida Keys, so we really set this boat up for live bait fishing, and we like taking long runs to the Tortugas. Uh, when we're tournament fishing, we could add extra on-deck live wells to our boat, and on a normal day, we can just run one or two live wells, depending on the style of fishing we're doing. Uh, normally, we're just going out with, you know, three dozen goggle eyes and a couple dozen uh, ballyhoo, and we have the back live well for that and then also the front wall eye well to keep the bait separated. Some of the really nice features is we customize this live well system with three hooker electric 4500s. On a standard day we run 14500 at like half speed and that gives us enough flow to uh, fill up the live wells and, and keep them healthy all day. Um, in case of uh, you know a day we're going live baiting and we're going to transport some baits for a tournament we have a second 4500 that we turn on and we have two on deck live well hookups in each corner of the 41. The 4500s are really key because they're variable speed so we can turn the pumps down depending if we only have a couple dozen baits or really turn them up if we're transporting bait. We really like the live well uh, window feature because it gives us uh, clear visibility of all of our baits when we're running it's a little rough sometimes it's hard to keep track of everything so it makes it really easy for us to keep track of the baits make sure that it's not sloshing around we have some really easy uh, access to our overflow valves they're right there as soon as you open up the build so we can easily just close the valves off a little bit and pressurize the live well and that makes all of our baits happy and rides you know really well without sloshing around too much on a typical day of uh, kite fishing, we have all of our kite reels set up right here on the rocket launcher. We fish our kite reels right out of the gunnels. We'll be fishing out of the outriggers. Once we lay them down, we have the rings that gives us a nice spread. Uh, the captain can kind of just maneuver the boat into the wind and give us a nice fishability across the reef. Um, also, we have a really nice tackle station back here in the lounge area. So anytime we're in a pinch, we have extra tackle just sitting here, um, hooks, leaders, crimps, and then all of our bigger um, utilities are over here on the side compartments. We have our cutters, crimpers, wiring gloves, you know, any anything extra we need on the boat because when we're, we're going, you know, on long trips or taking the boat to different tournaments, we really can't forget anything. So we like to, to load the boat up with all the necessary tackle that we have. And the Valhalla gives us a good opportunity to keep us really prepared with all the extra storage. Even though we're a serious fishing team, we're in the Florida Keys and we have lots of friends that like to come visit us. So they like to go to the sandbar and take it easy and not be so serious like we are. Um, so just the, the ability to just hang out and the, the space and the luxuriousness of the center console makes it really easy for our friends to enjoy. They don't have to sit on bare fiberglass. We have this really nice custom cushions, easy accessible drink box. We have a huge lounge up front, which is really nice, you know, for just hanging out the sandbar. And they also have some extra seating with our ladder back chairs from Release Marine. When in the Florida Keys and watercolor like this, you know you're gonna to wanna to get in. So this side access makes it really easy for our friends and family just to board. We have a, a ladder that's stowed away and this easily just opens right up and you have the beautiful access to crystal clear Florida Keys water. In the Florida Keys, uh, sail fishing is a, a popular style of fishing. Um, so the way we have our 41 Valhalla set up is we have the lounge live well all set up. We have some baits in there that we caught earlier this morning. And then we also have this really cool setup with the Ray Rocher tubes. We have a on deck fitting that we use for transporting bait. It's one inch feed and then we have a one and a half inch overflow. But we have these two uh, ready to go uh, live bait pitch tubes plumbed to our on deck fitting and whenever we need it we just just turn the speed up of the pump and we get extra flow to the front. 
At any moment, we have two spinning rods ready to go, baited up with, with live baits that are frisky, ready to go. So at any time, we could be chasing tailors or uh, you know showering ballyhoo. Um, so we might be traveling miles down the, uh, the edge, and at any moment, you know, our Captain Scott can, you know, shout out and see a fish. And if we're not ready, you know, sometimes those opportunities don't uh, capitalize. So this really makes it an awesome feature for, for what we do down here in the Florida Keys. Another fun type of fishing we do is bottom fishing. Scott being from the Florida Keys, he loves bottom fishing. And he's got so many good numbers down here that anytime we go catch a couple sailfish, we're always itching to maybe just go out there and drop a line for a mutton snapper or a grouper. Um, so having all the extra storage gives us all the ability to keep extra weights and hooks and leaders all stowed away. So we don't have everything just laying on the deck, extra coolers. Um, so that's a really extra cool feature that um, allows us to do everything that we want to do. We participated in the Viking Valhalla Challenge down in Key West. The boat was fully set up for sail fishing. Uh, we got really lucky and placed second place. We're really happy about that and the performance of our 41. How like everything set up uh, just gave us an extra edge I believe. And then just two weeks after that we totally stripped the boat down, um, repacked it with everything we might need and took a trip to the Chub for two weeks. Um, we had everything set up on the outriggers for teasers. We had our dredge pole out um, for a dredge. And uh, the first day we were in Chubb, we caught a blue marlin on our 41 Valhalla. So that was pretty amazing. The boss was happy. And, uh, you know, we just really loved the, the Viking family. Um, you know, you, you got boats all the way up to 90 foot. So these guys are no stranger to, you know, customer service and, and people's needs like being on the water we know that you can't really you, you're working really hard you're spending time and you want to spend it on the water any extra time you have so the viking like service center is is a huge plus for us it's not far away it's uh, it's in palm beach um so anytime we go to palm beach we kind of like plan a trip after that we get the boat all ready and then we'll go shoot over to the bahamas so you know being part of the viking family you know they really treat you like family, they, they, they know your needs, and they really keep you on the water as much as possible. We work you know, closely with the Sea Keeper, which keeps the boat stable, we love it. Um, the Spot Zero, we take everywhere with us and keeps the boat immaculate. And we just really love everything about the Valhalla and how it fishes, and this is why we chose Valhalla. I'm gonna hand it off to Scott Walker, he's gonna go over the tower and the fishability on the 41. Hey guys, this is Captain Scott Walker captain of the Papas Pilar 41 Valhalla and chief logistic coordinator. <laughs> the reason uh, we chose this 41 Valhalla, the main reason is Viking is family. Once you order your first Viking, you're gonna be introduced to more people to walk you by the hand through the process from start to finish, from colors to motor packages, to tower options, to electronics. We set up our 41 in advance, knowing that we we're gonna be sight fishing and that means you need a tower. So we started off with the best tower in the business. Drew McDowell and his team at Palm Beach Towers designed us a gap tower to get me as high off of the water as possible, but still keep the integrity of the boat from being too, too roly-poly. Plus the fact that we ordered a Sea Keeper. I can be in that tower all day long in six foot seas, been there, done that. And with the Sea Keeper engaged, it's like a walk in the park. It's just a matter of watching for the next fish to come and not worrying about holding on all day long. It's a huge bonus. If you're going to put a tower on a boat, you're going to get the Sea Keeper, and this can be one of the greatest fishing experiences of your life. We're not in a convertible, but we fish just like we are. We set up our boat with uh, the total package of electronics. We have three 18 inch screens installed by ME, totally integrated with a FLIR, a 2K transducer for finding the swordfish in 3,000 feet of water. Or, what, or even the snowy grouper, whatever it takes, this new upgraded transducer finds the fish and it's just a matter of us getting a bait to them and then getting hooked up. This is my office and these are my tools and there's no, no better experience than hooking up with AME and getting the right electronics package for what your needs will be. Valhalla 41 has a range of options for engine packages. We chose the Quad 400s. There is also an option for the Quad 425s. All three will get you there, four will get you there faster. Uh, we, with the Gap Tower, we get almost 0.8 miles per gallon with a, at a nice cruise of about 38 knots. Uh, when we travel, we have these wonderful release chairs that roll up for leaner and post and then uh, pop down for seating with the arms come down themselves. 
to kind of lock you in there. Give you, you're going 40 miles an hour underwater, it's kind of nice to be kind of wrapped. And the fact that you have some comfortable chairs, going 60 miles in the Valhalla is a piece of cake, especially with the step hull. She takes a two to four foot C like nobody's business and uh, even bigger. But the step hole design, the, the horsepower, and the cons Viking construction makes this one of the safest rides on the water. And you'll actually feel it when you get to go fishing on your 41. Once we get to the fishing grounds, you won't see me again for the rest of the day. I'll be up in my tower looking for uh, fish tailing, fish swimming by, and just generally watching the whole program get set up. I give Mike an idea of what we're going to be doing. When I slow down, Mike will get whatever's ready. Either kites are going to pop up when I stop, or the teasers are going to fly out the back when we start trolling. It's just a matter of vision and uh, fishability. We've got Gemlux outriggers that can be adjusted for height and width. So we can either set them straight up and down for firing kites off and giving us a nice 40 foot spread on top of the fact that we're already 10 feet wide. Or we can set them a little lower and put out our ballyhoos so that they don't jump out of the water on a windy day. They give you a great uh, field of opportunity for fishing from live baiting to trolling to deep dropping. It's just a matter of turning the handle, setting where you want it, and going fishing. Again, it's worry-free and it's a great option for when you set up your Valhalla. Beautiful part about this Gap Tower is it gives me 360 degrees of total visibility from the back of the engines to the bow. I can easily uh, see a fish swim in, let the guys know without having to scream so they can get set up to pitch bait or uh, drop back a teaser and make a perfect hookup with a, a marlin or a dolphin or whatever we're after. And it translates into a great day with a, a cooler full of fish or a rigger full of flags. Besides great visibility, I have all the tools I need up here. I've got my GPS, I've got my VHF radio so I can stay in touch with the fleet. And I've actually had this boat wired uh, with uh, additional 12 volts so I can run electric teaser reels up here. And uh, that takes one less uh, thing for the crew to have to take care of. When a marlin comes in the spread, I take care of bringing them to the pitch bait and let the guys take over after that. Uh, it's a sm small little thing, but every little thing adds up to making this Valhalla a perfect fishing machine for Team Papas Pilar. We might be an outboard boat, but we fish just like in convertible. That's the beauty of the Valhalla 41. We chose a 41 because it fits our needs. It's fast, it's maneuverable, and it does everything a big boat does in a small package. I've run convertibles my whole life. I've been in this business for over 40 years. And the first thing you'll ever notice when you go into the inside, the nuts and bolts of these Valhallas is the bilge. It looks just like the bilge of a 50, 60, 70, 80 convertible. They used all the same equipment they used in their biggest boats they ever built, and they just get them into this little package, and the wiring is, is first class, the mechanicals first class. You're gonna notice those little things. The fit and finish is beyond any outboard boat you've ever been on. I'd like to personally thank Pat Healy, Ryan Higgins, and Drew McDowell, and the entire Viking family for building this Papa's Plar 41. It's a dream boat, and hopefully your dream will come true next. <music>